everyone, it's Paige. Welcome back to my channel. So as you can probably assume um, by the mere fact that I am in a car right now, we are out and about. We are actually in Washington County, Pennsylvania, visiting the Manga Hala. Manga Hala. I know I did it wrong. And Manga. The I thought it sounded weird. Mangala. What is it? Monongah Monongah Hala. So right now we are visiting the Monongah Hala Area Library, which is having a used book sale today, and we're gonna see what we can find. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Ba -da -ba 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 -ba. ba 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 That's a few books there. So. Well, the top one is mom's. <laughs> <laughs> but I found 100 Years of Solitude, The Chill. So that's Scott Carson. He's pretty big. Yeah. Has a review from Stephen King on the front. Um, that's always good. Got the Jane Austen Book Club. Ooh. And I'm considering, I'm running out of space. <laughs> I'm considering getting this, the overstory. I have hmm. a paperback version. But it's oh, that's bag. nice. <gasps> What's up? This is a hardcover of a translated book that I talk about pretty often. I read this for my senior Bjork? thesis. Bork? Yeah, Samuel Bork. Sweet. This is, this is a good find. Neato burrito. That's a really good find. Sounds good. I also. Is it as good a find as Domino, a Tony Scott film starring Keira Knightley? Oh, you know what? I think I don't think it is. Or X Men Three: The Last Stand. We leave the depths with many a boon. That was actually cool. Whoa. I'm into something.
like the like yeah, it's for a fireplace. Gosh, why am I so big? Here, you you film. You film. You look at that. So. I've got my size to work. This place feels haunted. Interesting. Very interesting. Oh, okay. So like what, it says that and then like you write across like for the birthday? I guess so. Bertha Lapal, CHS 13. I don't know what any of that means. Maybe something high school. Lighting is so cool, just like the lamp underneath yeah, it. it it's you. It's me, bear. Nurse outfit, nurses outfitters. I've been elected to go into the depths first. What in the heck is going on here? There's all sorts of crazy writings. I'm probably gonna get kidnapped by Krampus or something. Oh God. Oh God. <laughs> What do you think, Paige? Should I, should I ring this? What if that bell calls Cthulhu? T and F. Welcome back to my library. Now we are getting to the segment where I just haul these books for you and show you what they're about. I got five total books at the library. I considered getting some of the antique books at the antique store that we went to, but I decided that they weren't super high priority for me, so I went ahead and left them there. So let's talk about the books that I did get. First off, um, I will show you the book that I was probably most excited to see there, and that was I'm Traveling Alone by Samuel Bork. This is an adult mystery thriller. This follows two investigators in Oslo where um, children are seemingly being abducted on their way to school or on their way to somewhere, hence I'm traveling alone. There are actually a lot of elements at play in this novel. For example, if you are into thrillers involving cults, there's actually a cult in this book. In fact, the reason why I read this at all is because I was writing um, my senior thesis, which involved a cult, and I asked for book recommendations, and this was one of them, so I went ahead and read it. This has actually been translated to English, so it is not originally in English. I think that might be why I was surprised to see it at all, um, let alone in its hardback form, because I only have the paperback and it's pretty worn down. The next book I'll show you is actually 100 Years of Solitude by Gabriel Garcia Marquez. This is a very classic and well-known piece of historical fiction, magical realism. This is set in a fictional town in Spain called Macondo, and it tells the story of the Buendia family. That's a little bit vague, but as far as I understand, the 
title of the novel sort of gets at the main idea, which is the battle between wanting love and companionship and wanting solitude. So, okay, the next book I'll show you is from an author that I know of, but I do not have a lot of knowledge of this book in particular. That is The Chill by Scott Carson. This is a horror thriller novel. It takes place in upstate New York and it essentially is about a town that existed that was destroyed and drowned under a reservoir in the 20th century because it was supposedly for the greater good and some of those families left the town and some didn't. And now, a century after this city was drowned under these waters, a dark prophecy is supposedly going to be fulfilled. Next up, we have the Jane Austen Book Club by Karen Joy Fowler. This is a contemporary fiction romance, sort of. It's about five women and one man who join together to create this Jane Austen book club. Essentially, I believe what happens is that throughout the year or years that they are a part of this book club, many of the members uh, experience affairs, romance, and divorce, and marriage struggle in general. I saw one review describe it as sort of like an analysis of modern relationships, so I don't know if that's sort of an accurate description. What caught my eye about this book is that it is in really good condition and it has like a nice texture. I know that sounds weird, but I literally judged a book by its cover in this circumstance. Um, so I did pick it up. Uh, the reviews for this are pretty mixed. I don't know how many of you have, or if any of you have read this and you have some sort of input, but it's cute and it's small and uh, it had Jane Austen on the cover, so. Okay, last but certainly not least, this I think was the first book that I found and picked up, um, and this is The Overstory by Richard Powers. This is a piece of literary fiction with little doses of like historical fiction from what I understand. I believe that it tries to depict a sort of fictional world that is inspired by different fables while getting at the root of a sort of activism for the environment. Many moons ago, I found out that this was somebody's favorite book ever. I think it was like a celebrity that said it. I can't remember who that was. I know that's not helpful, but I got the paperback when I found that out. So I'll probably replace my paperback with this hardback and then donate my paperback. Again, if you have read this novel or have heard anything specific about it and you want to share, literally feel free to comment. Um, I just don't know really, I don't have a firm grip of what this is actually about, which is fine. Um, I know that it is very highly reviewed and rated and received, so that doesn't mean that it's going to be good necessarily, at least by my standards, but that does mean that I have a higher set of expectations for it, I guess. Anyway, those were all five of the books that I got. Um, while we were there, my mom got some books for herself. I think she got one children's Christmas book, which we're gonna put in our little library. I'm not sure what the frequency of library sales is during like the winter, so I don't know if I'll be able to film a lot of these types of videos in the next few months, but as a heads up, I do live in Pennsylvania, so if you know of a big library or book sale that happens in December, January, February, and you want to let me know, uh, please comment below or message me on Instagram. But I am going to leave off here today. Um, so if you liked this video, please like, comment, and subscribe as always. You can follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and Goodreads, and you can also join our uh, Discord channel, which is called Paging Through Club. You can find the link for that in my community tab. You can join that channel to have book chat and game chat and whatever, but you can also join that channel to join our monthly book club, which is currently reading Empire of the Vampire by Jay Kristoff. So we would really appreciate seeing you there um, if you're interested in reading that or just talking to us. And I will see you back here very, very soon. Bye! Uh -huh.